Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Dave. I am going to be doing a uh, uh, an acrylic painting today. Uh, I'm using a canvas that I got from the dollar store. It's a four by six flat canvas, as it came in a package of three for a dollar. So you can't beat it, and it's great to practice on. And that's what I'm doing. I'm learning. I use my Zebra Delgard mechanical pencil to draw the outline of the image that I want to paint. Um, and today the colors that I'm going to be using are Mars Black, Raw Sienna, Burt Umber, Light Green Permanent, uh, Primary Yellow, and Titanium White. These are uh, the Liquitex Basics Acrylics. <clears throat> Kelly just bought me a, a, uh, all the the primary colors from uh, Michael's the other day so I'm excited to give them a shot I've been using a lot of watercolors lately uh, so this is going to be really one of my first forays into acrylic I've used acrylic before in the past on a couple other paintings but um, I've been doing more watercolor than anything lately so this is going to be fun uh, right off the bat I one mistake I did make was I did not prime the canvas before I uh, Start a painting on it so it starts off a little bit rough. Here I'm going in with some light green and some burnt umber. This is an outdoor scene and there was a lot of green. Uh, a lot of green, a lot of browns in this uh, image, so it's going to look like a mess uh, in the early stages, but hopefully it comes together as the painting progresses. I also didn't put a piece of paper down on my desk, as you can see, it's already a mess from the last time that I painted, uh, so I really, I really should clean it up. It's one of those things that you don't really notice until you see it on video. Block in certain uh, aspects of the image. I'm not really concerned with details. Just want to go in and you know get the color blocks in, and then I can go back and add some uh, finer details as it goes along. So the image that I'm painting is uh, its sort of like a, a bridge, uh, it's a bridge and there's a, it's a, a pool of water and there's a rocky outcropping on each side of the bridge and you're looking through the underside of the bridge and there's like a little waterfall back there. Uh, it's an image that I found online, uh, of course on Instagram, it's what I use for a lot of my uh, inspiration find a picture on Instagram that I really like and I'll save it and then I'll just try to paint it. That's where I found a lot of my bird pictures that I paint. I'm going to be doing some more bird pictures uh, coming up soon here. As a matter of fact, I found a couple of pictures that I really like, so uh, that should be coming up soon. Side of the bridge, I'm just using straight Mars black.
I wanted to use the acrylics because uh, I always marvel at painters. They can create different color tones and, and by mixing the colors. I've never really uh, experimented with that kind of stuff. Usually, like, I usually want to use the watercolors. I'm usually using just like one color at a time. Um, but with acrylics, and that's why I only bought the a limited set of the acrylics because I wanted to play with mixing the colors so uh, yeah so I'm only using a couple of colors on this painting and I'm you know mixing them to create different variations so I had a lot of fun doing that little dollar store uh, canvases are pretty cool. I mean, uh, they're not much different than the ones that you get at the, the craft stores, but they're only a dollar. And like I said, you get three of them and they're 100% natural cotton. And uh, the brand is called Crafters Square. And uh, yeah, for, you know, to practice on, I think they're great. Here I'm going in with some a few different colors of uh, variations of the green to bring in the there's some moss and some uh, plants in the foreground here it's a very green heavy painting even in the background uh, the majority of the background is green because there's just so much foliage, foliage in this scene. This is actually a scene or a picture uh, from Ireland. It's let's see what the site was. I'll show a picture uh, of the image that I used uh, for a reference. Uh, at the end of uh, the painting here, but the Instagram account that I got it from It is called It's never there when you want it. Here it is. It's called Best of Ireland. That was it's uh, the channel is best underscore of underscore Ireland. <clears throat> they got a lot of beautiful uh, pictures on there from Ireland. Now I'm just going in. I'm trying to get a sharper, uh, you know, get that uh, bridge, the underside of the bridge, a little bit sharper into the half circle there. some detail to the bricks on the uh, side of the bridge. lighter highlights you know, where the sun uh, might be dappling on the a couple of the leaves here and there. And this scene, uh, 
the, it's really it's a lot brighter farther back into the picture so I'm trying to bring out the, the highlight in the pool of water there it's, it's a lot darker the closer it is to you because you got the shade from the bridge there now I'm using the knife because in the background there is a little waterfall coming down off of the those rocks and just trying to use it to give uh, the impression of some splashing and some little using the tiny brush here to get the appearance of some rivulets of water Uh, some ferns uh, on the uh, left hand side of the picture and then on the right so I'm going in here and trying to make some little fern look alike uh, things the uh, the paintbrush that I was using wasn't a fine detailed brush I didn't have a, or a, a liner brush so I was just using whatever I had on hand so it wasn't as thin as I had hoped um, so I didn't get the super fine details on the ferns but I'm okay with how it turned out. See, I, I had the same problem with the vines. Um, in a few minutes here, there's going to be I'm going to be painting some vines that are dangling off the side of the bridge, and I had the same problem with that. I was the, the brush that I was using was a little bit too uh, thick, and it, so the vines weren't as thin and loose as I had hoped, but. Um, yeah, I was working with what I had, so I can't complain. It's all practice anyways. scene of Ireland here it comes the uh, inspiration so as you can see it is a lot brighter and you see the little reflecting pool and uh, the little vines and that's my rendition of it on a 4 by 6 dollar store canvas so uh, yeah I'm glad you uh, stuck around this long and watched the video I hope you liked it I thank you for spending some time with me today and I'll have more stuff coming soon so please stay tuned uh, so everybody have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.